Heart Challenger program is very unique. Sometimes other Challenger leagues, they just have a day or maybe they have a weekend that the kids get to play. They don't have a whole season and they certainly don't have eight teams. And so we're really blessed that way. Challenger at Little League International introduced a division of Little League called Challenger back about 20, 20 years ago. They sent out an email that said, hey, if your league wants to create a Challenger division, feel free to do so. So it's a division of a Little League. It's not its own Little League. It's a division just like you have your Little League and you have major girls, major boys, you have t-ball. Those are all divisions of Little League. And we reached out to a couple other schools and got a couple other kids involved and we had like a handful of kids to play. And then I, I knew they needed buddies. And so the first person I called was Coach Hanks at CMU because it was his very first year as the coach. And I explained to him that I wanted to, to proceed with having this division for kids with special needs, but we needed buddies. and I called my friends that were football coaches and baseball coaches all over the valley and we had a lot of buddies. Now we just had to go find some kids. So right at the beginning of the next year, I had the buddies lined up for the season and we had the kids there and we had a perfect, like it was a great season. And the next year after that, so this would be now the third or fourth year, we had doubled in numbers. Immediately to the point I realized that we had to grow right away. I mean, we're so blessed to have Canyon View and the city and the school district's participation to allow us to have Canyon View because it's consistent. We get to play on Monday nights the whole season and we play at the same locations. In Florida, along with Kelly, um, I received an award there. And that was pretty, um, I was really humbled and honored by that award because it was from the American Baseball Coaches Association. And it just happened to be that the president of Little League International was there. So as soon as he found out what, that I was there and why I was there, he immediately told me after the luncheon that he was gonna make sure our team, our program got invited to the Little League World Series. So I knew we wanted to do a ratio of girls to boys. I knew we wanted to do a variety of different abilities. I knew we didn't, you know, we wanted kids in the autism spectrum, we wanted kids in wheelchairs, we wanted kids with Down syndrome, and we wanted to show everything that every way possible a child can play baseball. And the trip was amazing. It was a once in a lifetime. I, I get asked all the time, would you want to do it again? And I would say no. I don't want to do the World Series again. I think it would rob those of us who were there, the buddies, the parents, the kids, from the bond. It can't be duplicated. That week will never be duplicated. The special things I think about Challenger are watching what it can do for the kids, that they're capable of doing baseball or anything as long as they have help and someone to help them do it, they're capable and they can do it. People we have bonded with, the buddies, the families that we've met through this, the friends we've made, it's just, it's, it's awesome. I think I'm going to be happy just seeing how it's changed Isabella over every year and how she's grown and just the connections and friendships she's made with a lot of the families and kids and buddies from Challenger. say I think it is kind of at its peak because I don't know how you top being invited to a Little League World Series so now it's more just showing the community and now we've got the kids here now we need to bring out more of the community to see them play.